hello guys welcome back to the channel so first of all just be logged into your credentials and once done with that just me come back over here click on the checkbox and then just be click on agree and continue now just me wait and now here what you do you have to just me search for the vertex ai open this thing new tab and just me come back over here wait for a second now here you can see inside the notebook you can see this workbench just simply click over here wait for a second Then just simply click on this user manage notebook. Just simply click over here and wait for a couple of seconds over here. Now just simply click on this open Jupyter lab. Now it will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook. So just simply wait for that. and it's finally done. Now here you can see generative AI folder, just simply double click over here like this way, then just simply click on the Gemini folder like this way. Now here you can see function calling folder, just simply double click over here like this way. Now here you can see this file, so just simply double click over here like this. Now if you are using a Jupyter notebook for the first time for running a shell or you can say command, what you do, you can just simply click on this play button over here like this way or you can just simply hit shift and enter button for running the command like this way. Okay, but you have to make sure of one thing that before running any shell or command you have to make sure that your kernel status must show as a ideal if your kernel status showing as a busy then you have to just simply wait okay now what you do just simply scroll down over here and from here you can see we have to export the project id and the location so for that what you do just simply come back to the lab instructions click on the task number two just simply scroll down and from here you can see this project id so just simply copy like this do not copy this comma so just simply copy like this come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way okay like this now for the location again just simply copy this location copy like this come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way and make sure that there is no extra space okay now what you do just simply scroll up and from here you can see this getting started just simply click over here like this way now what you do you can just simply click on this play button like this way or you can just simply hit shift and enter like this way now from here you can see the kernel status show as a busy so just simply wait until it show as a ideal now you can see the kernel status is ideal so just simply scroll down so we are done with the first command now what you do we have to restart the kernel so make sure that just simply hit shift and enter like this way just simply wait over here now here you can see this pop-up kernel is restarting just simply click on this ok over here like this way and just simply hold over here and once you see the kernel status showing as ideal then only you have to run the remaining command so what you do now just simply hit shift and enter till end like this way just simply hit shift and enter like this way and it's done now just simply hover over here and just simply check the kernel shutters it must show as a ideal and make sure that your laptop will not go for a sleep otherwise your jupyter notebook will be disconnected and because of that you might face unnecessary error and now finally the kernel shutter is showing as a ideal now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and if you just simply click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a green tick over here without any issue and if you are not able to get a green tick on your first time no need to worry wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab for sure i saw most of the time on the task number two we didn't get a green tick on the first time so no need to worry about that now just simply scroll down click on this check my progress you will get a green tick over here without any issue again just simply scroll down click on this check my progress just simply wait as you can see i'm getting this kind of error so no need to worry about that just simply keep hitting on the check my progress you will get a full score on this lab for sure lab take couple of minutes to update a score so no need to worry about that
and finally after waiting for a couple of minutes we got a green tick on the task number three without any issue now again just simply scroll down click on this check my progress let's see if we get a green tick here or not and it's done now again just simply scroll down and then just simply click on this last check my progress and it's finally done. If you still not able to get a green tick on the particular task, no need to worry, wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab for sure. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.